Hello friends, today I am going to talk about 2D transformation. In real world, object move, change size when seen from different angles. So when an object is displayed on screen, it should also be able to move and change size. A computer graphic system must be able to portray this change on screen. Every time when an object changes orientation, shape and size, we cannot draw it again and again. So by using transformation, we can transform an object when it changes orientation, shape and size without having to redraw it. The process of changing of orientation, shape and size of object by mathematical operation is called transformation. Need of transformation the basic need of transformation is to manipulate an object on screen without having to redraw it. Types of transformation There are basically two types of transformation. These are geometric transformation coordinate transformation. In geometric transformation, object is transformed, coordinate system remains stationary. While in coordinate transformation, the object remains stationary and coordinate system is transformed. Here, we will be restricting our discussion to geometric transformation only. These are translation, rotation, scaling, sharing, reflection. Translation. When an object is displaced from one position to another, then it is called translation. Suppose an object is at point P. When it is translated by some translation factor Tx and Ty, where Tx is translation factor for x coordinate, Ty is translation factor for y coordinate. It reaches point P dash. The coordinate x dash and y dash for point P dash can be obtained by this formulas x dash equals to x plus dx, y dash equals to y plus dy. This is the homogeneous matrix of translation. When an object is translated, then its new coordinate can be determined by following formula. Rotation In rotation, object is rotated theta degree about a point. If theta is positive, then rotation is counterclockwise. If theta is negative, then rotation is clockwise. Now, we will be finding formula for rotation. So, from the figure, in triangle ABC, x equals to r cos phi, y equals to r sin phi. In triangle AB dash C dash, x dash equals to r cos phi plus theta, y dash equals to r sin phi plus theta. This value of x, y, x dash, y dash are obtained from trigonometric ratios. We have x dash equals to r cos phi plus theta. When this formula is expanded, we get value of x dash that is x cos theta minus y sin theta. Similarly, y dash r sin phi plus theta. When this is expanded, we get value for y dash that is y dash equals to y cos theta plus x sin theta. This is the transformation matrix for rotation. When an object is rotated, then its new coordinate can be determined by following formula using homogeneous coordinates. Scaling Scaling means resizing of an object, that is either the size of object can increase or decrease. This is done on basis of scaling factor, that is Sx and Sy. When the value of Sx and Sy is greater than 1, then object is enlarged and it moves away from origin. When value of Sx and Sy is less than 1, then size of object decreases and it moves towards the origin. When the value of X, Sx and Sy is equal, then it is called uniform scaling. When value of Sx and Sy are not equal, then it is called differential scaling. When scaling is performed, then the co scaled coordinates can be obtained by these formulas. X dash and Y dash are scaled coordinates. X dash can be obtained by multiplying S, X, SX into X. That is co original coordinate into scaling factor for X coordinate. Y dash can be obtained by Y into SY. That is original coordinate into scaling coordinate for Y axis. This is the transformation matrix. The formula for scaling to obtain the new coordinate can be given in matrix form is below. Reflection means to obtain mirror image of an object. The reflection can be done about x-axis, y-axis and also about origin. Below image show all these three conditions with 
figure and transformation matrix. These are the three conditions reflection about x axis, reflection about y axis, reflection about origin. This is the figure for reflection about x axis and its translation matrix. Reflection about y axis and transformation matrix. Reflection about origin and its transformation matrix. Whenever any of the reflection takes place, then reflected coordinate can be obtained by multiplying given coordinates to the respective transformation matrix. Shearing. The process of applying a longitudinal force to an object which distorts the shape of an object such that transform shape appears as if the object were composed of internal layers that has been caused to slide over each other is called shear and such transformation is called shearing. When a longitudinal force is applied on object so that its area does not change but shape get distorted, then it is called shearing. Here you can see an example when a longitudinal force is applied on a square, its area is not changing but its shape is shape get distorted and it changes. Shearing can be done in two ways: shearing about x-axis, shearing about y-axis. In sharing ab about x-axis, the longitudinal force acts parallel to x-axis. In sharing about y-axis, the longitudinal force acts parallel to y-axis. Here, in this, in sharing about x-axis, the y-coordinate remains same. So, y dash equals to y. Since it is x shear, x shear, so change in x is possible. x dash equals to x plus y into sharing factor. The matrix for uh, to find shared coordinates about x axis is given below. For sharing about y axis, the x coordinate remains same and y dash equals to y plus x into g, where g is sharing factor for y axis. The matrix formula to find shared coordinates is given below. Application of 2D transformation. These are some application of 2D transformation, 2D geometric transformation, animation, image wrapping, image morphing. Thank you.